In our workflow, I think another problem that we have with BIM is that we now think we have to model everything bottom up. So in order to, to know, I don't know, how much a building cost, you have to model everything and give every element cost and then you sum it up. But it's not how planning works. If you design a building, you get a budget. So it's up to a certain level or a certain phase of designing a building, it's very bottom down. You have to know when will it be finished? How much space do I need? How much money do I have? What budget do I have to build this? So you have to make these things top down. And in this phase of planning, you don't have any elements that you can work with. Like you, do, you don't have a room or you don't have walls that enclose a room. In Revit, you need some kind of boundaries to define uh, a room. So you have to model something that you don't know yet just to get something that you know. In IFC, make a really clear, let's say, um, requirement model. So you, you just say what you need. I need these 20 rooms with that area and I need these stories and, and so on and so on. And I need uh, this or that element in this type of room. Everything without geometry. You just say, I need, I don't know, 20 outlets in, in my office. I don't care yet where they are. I just need it because of the size of the space. So you can model, like in terms of data modeling, you can really define a lot of your project without even touching yeah, a single modeling technique, like uh, modeling a wall or a window. You just say, I need this. How would you practically do that? In a text file, just type in exactly? Or what tool would you use for that? There are not yet really good user interfaces for this. I mean, you can do it with all these um, programming libraries like uh, IFC OpenShell, or there are others for, for JavaScript, for C Sharp, for Java. So there are a lot of libraries where you can natively work with IFC, and then you can just yeah make it programmatically. It would be really interesting to get this in a more user-friendly way, but there's no such thing yet, I think. But it, the interesting part is that it's possible. This is novelty. I did not know. I was not aware about this. What you are telling me right now, it's really impressive. Yeah. And then you can define really your whole project in the beginning. And, and later, when you model this bottom up, you can always compare it and say, do I have all the rooms that I need? Are they about the size that, that I need? Are all the elements placed like I said they should? Very, very interesting. I need to ask you something regarding this. Do you see a way where you can use this data further on on the project when you start modeling the building? Or is this some data that you use only to plan and you cannot use it further down the road? No, I think you can really use it down the roads. It's your benchmark, I'd say. So every time you hand over your project, you can compare it with the requirements and prove, yes, the building meets the requirements that we define in this first model. That's yeah, really the benchmark that you can always use. And if the requirements change, you change the requirement model first, and then you can use this to think through the changes if they like make sense, if mm -hmm. they don't cause problems somewhere else. And once the requirement model works fine everyone says well that's okay then you start modeling because the modeling is the hard part it takes a long time um, to get again let's say to a space so you have to model all the walls put a space inside a room inside and then you have the space in the requirement model it's just uh, yeah i say i need a space and there it is that's the the model parts of or the file part of ifc as, as we started